Hello again, YouTube. How you guys doing? <clears throat> so, we've got Raul in our party, and we're going to go ahead and do his character quest. And after that, we got a couple other things planned. We'll see how it all works out. I'm amazed that an outsider has proven so helpful. Yeah. Now, who do I have to talk to here? By the way, people on YouTube... Um, I know it must be uh, kind of weird for me to, you know, be, it seems like I'm talking to myself. I mean, outside of doing a normal LP, right? But it sounds like I'm talking to somebody, but not really. Uh, do people want me to start including the, the, the Twitch chat on screen or something like that? Maybe I can work that in somehow. But yeah, just let me know in the comments. Um, so let's talk to somebody here. Oh yeah, I, I remember who, I remember who. I just gotta find them. Oh, I thought you were gonna wrap and give me something. Give me something, butt wipe. Oh, Boone's gonna be a pain, huh? Well, that's okay. Loyal. Loyal's in the hangar. At least it should be. Hello. Hi. Hello. But yeah, you know, I've never done all of the sto the character quests before. And thinking back, I'm not sure if I've ever actually used Cass. Which boggles my mind, but I honestly can't remember doing that. Okay, Edie, I love you and everything, but the, that little constant buzzing sound I hear from you is annoying. I won't be able to check the link on here, but... Oh, okay, I see. I see what you mean. Good girl. Okay, if you think we should wait on Boone, then we'll, we'll wait on Boone. That's Jack. Uh, is Loyal around here? Am I even thinking of the right guy? I mean, I don't have a quest marker to find Loyal, so... Just an opportunity, but they're all the time you need five points to get on with this quest. I don't know if you... Gotta have Boom for them. That was the guy, yes. Okay, so... I've got the right guy, it's just I gotta find him. Uh, can you be in one of these offices? See nothing. That's the other way out. Oh, wait, why didn't I just wait in there? He's bound to show up. Let's see, it's 7 59. Okay, let's wait like 14 hours or something. Like, boo, that gives two points, but I don't know if you have to have Boone in your party. I presume it counts anyway. You probably have to have Boone. So we gotta be careful not do stuff without Boone around, I guess. No loyal? Oh, there he is. Isn't that bomber a beauty? Thanks so much for making an old man's dreams come true. Yeah, well, I'll go. Right, time for me again. Um, nothing. Uh, Raul, you got anything to say? Uh, over elaborate mob schemes to take over Vegas. Reminds me of the days before the war. Um, hmm. Sure, boss. Please? That's a good thing to see, huh, boss? Oops. <laughs> now you say something, okay. Uh, what are you talking about? That loyal guy. He's getting up there in years, but he still finds a way to make himself useful to his people. 
If you ask me, that's better than withering away all alone or holding on to some faded piece of glory from your past. Uh, is there a certain way I need to answer this? I'm not very familiar with Raul, so... I mean, I would think the top one. Or is this where we choose, like, what he's gonna... Be? Yeah, yeah, the, the two paths thing. Um, you know, we'll just, we'll just roll with it. Uh, if you tell me. So I'm guessing the top one, then. If we want to do, uh, gunslinging. He becomes a, a, a vaquero or something like that. So, yeah, I guess we'll just go with that. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. So you're mine. Old history, boss. I grew up in a place called Hidalgo Ranch, just outside Mexico City. It wasn't much, just a bit of a farm, with a house for three generations of Tejadas. I wasn't the best behaved kid. I was quick with my hands, with a pistol or a wrench. And I wasn't afraid to get into fights over it. I never killed anybody. But I had my share of run-ins with the police. Mostly my family kept me in mind. This was before the war. We were far enough away from Mexico City when the bombs fell that we missed the worst of it. But things got bad. Go on. Just a few days after Mexico City was vaporized, refugees started pouring down the road to our ranch. We helped who we could, but there were so many. Eventually, my father started turning people away before we ran out of food. Things got violent. My father and I got our guns, and we drove them off. What happened then? About two dozen men came back in the night after we'd gone to sleep. They set fire to the ranch house and barred the doors from the outside. My whole family was trapped inside. I smelled the smoke, and I got myself and my little sister, Rafaela, out through a window. But everyone else, my parents, my grandmother, my two brothers, Two of my sisters all died. What happened then? Rafael and I ran. We were pursued by some of the men who attacked our home. But I was always a good shot. The ones who came after us, I killed. The rest, I left be. I had to take care of Rafaela, not throw my life away on revenge. And you blame yourself for this? Maybe. I don't know. All I know is that for all my skills with a pistol, I couldn't help them. Anyway, that was weighing on my mind. Thanks for letting me get it out in the open, boss. Hmm. I can't believe we were allowed inside the Lucky 38. That place has been a legend since before the war. Can you tell me some of your stories again? That's what I love about you, boss. Your firm belief that one day you'll actually remember things people tell you. What do you want to hear about? Corporal Sterling? Is that somebody here on base also? Anything you say, boss. I don't think I've talked to the bounty guy yet. <laughs> so I can't McCarran the Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, we haven't been to McCarran yet, so I guess we should just go ahead and go.
what is good at gun runners. I'm gonna have some. Did I sell stuff yet? Let's see. I don't, I don't really have anything on me. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. Okay, there's nothing I really want to sell on you. That's fine, though. Okay, let's go to McCarran. At least I can go ahead and turn in two of the heads. I think there's a quest I could do here, but not gonna bother with it for now, at least. I mean, I doubt we're gonna do all the quests of the game anyway, but, you know, you never know. Where's the entrance to McCarran? Oh, you guys are going to make me jog around it, aren't you? Watch, it was probably just back there. That's always a big problem for anybody that comes to New, that goes to New Vegas for the first time. It takes them forever to find uh, the actual way in. Thanks, Hoi Four. I haven't played Hoi Four in forever. It really makes me want to be able to get into Hoi Three. It's a little much for me, but maybe I'm just not. Well, I mean, it's clearly I'm not putting in the effort I need to actually uh, understand it. Four is just fine, but it's, I mean, it is pretty easy. For the most part, anyway. There's not as much strategic death, uh, depth, not death, as you would think. Oh my god, I should have gone the other way. Fudge, 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 fudge. Oh, there's an entrance. I think. No? Just a couple of troopers randomly standing around? Farber is doing the best with what he's got. Man, could I go for a nice cut of ramen steak. Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. Not me, you lose your money there. Well, unless you're me, then you find all kinds of uh, ways to make money that don't involve gambling. Which I haven't even attempted to gamble yet. I've got the luck for it. Oh dear. Hello! Good job, everybody. Oh, we don't need that. Um, so I'll take that. 
I'm not gonna totally strip our dead soldiers. Cat's eye, sure. Oh, your head already got blown off. Fifty seven repeater, thank you. Whoops. Hey, your face is green. Gross. Was there somebody else further down? Maybe not. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Sorry. Is that finally an entrance? Good grief. No. Sigh. Just... Let me in. Don't worry, boss. With my cataract, you I returned one to Ash. Green, there's an RCW. Don't need that. Okay. Her head was blown off. Yeah, look at the boob plates on her. Jeez. Well, damn, guys. Could save that for me. God damn it. It's knuckles, laser rifle, microfusion. Nice. What do you need? Her? Bye. Oh, you actually, like, respond. You know, if you were serving, you'd probably be halfway to general by now. Probably. Oh, God. Come on, Raul, let's not dawdle. That's too long today. Feeling tired in general. Well, shoot. <laughs> Damn it, got me yawning now. Yeah. Finally, good grief. Well, I found the scouts for the Brotherhood. That's not a problem. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. I forget. Can I take all the ammo around here? No. Let's see, I have to find the old dude with the, uh, bounties. Oh, 
Also, there's a few select soldiers I want to talk to. One of the Ranger vets looked at me, and I just about surrendered. Hello, sir. Howdy. Name Sterling, first recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Uh, you remember everyone who passes through here? Got a good memory for faces, landmarks, and such too. Comes with practice, that's all, and a lot of scouting from place to place. Interesting rifle you have there. Lever action, right? I call her the Long Carabine. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gore Betts reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different. So long as I could hit my targets. Uh, have you always been with the first recon? Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Why'd you leave the rangers? Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpay. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't gonna be trekking across the waste on any more long scouts either. How'd you manage to escape Malpais or whatever? Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. I'll say. How long have you been stationed here? Going on six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Probably. Uh, goodbye. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. A platoon of veteran rangers is like a tactical nuke. Got a second to talk, boss? Eh? Sure, what's on your mind? Meeting Corporal Sterling. Well, it kind of got me thinking. Here's a guy that's been beat all to hell, right? I mean, he could have retired from the service. But instead, he signs back on and does what he can. You think he did the right thing? Mm. I personally I think it's good he's so devoted to his duty. More people should act that way. Yeah. You think so, boss? Because I remember a time when a lot of people stuck to their duty no matter what. It ended with nuclear bombs falling on my hometown. You're talking about the Great War? What do you remember about it? After the fire, I knew my sister and I couldn't stay at the Valvo Ranch anymore. The refugees still wanted me dead. They even put a bounty on me. I remember how scared Rafaela was. I told her if she came with me, we'd see the vaquero. She used to love the rodeo, especially the trick wagon. We figured maybe we could find help in Mexico City. We were young. We didn't know what had happened, really. We didn't understand about the bomb. Wasn't Mexico City basically annihilated in the Great War? I don't think it was as hard hit as D.C. or Bakersfield. But it was bad enough. By the time we got there, the city was a radioactive ruin. Still, the city was full of looters already forming into the beginnings of Raider tribes. Crime was bad before the war, but now it was a nightmare. We were living like scavengers, scraping by on what little food we could find, always looking for medicine for my burns. And then, of course, the radiation started to kick in, turning me into this handsome devil you see before you. Sounds pretty bad. You're a poet of understatement, boss. But there were moments it was almost worth it. I still remember finding that novelty costume shop. I was just looking around for something I could slice up to wrap my burns. 
but I saw the Vaquero outfit hanging on the rack, like it hadn't been touched. I took it, not like anybody else needed it, you know, and wore it back to our camp, Rafaela Lab, for the first time since the bombs had fallen. Wasn't it dangerous to be dressed so noticeably? It was. I started to build up a legend. Sometimes it headed off to them, but most of the times it just started more. Young punks looking to prove themselves would come looking for me, but my eyes were sharp and my guns were quick. For a while, it seemed like we might even survive there, until, until Rafaela. Go on. What happened to Rafaela? She went out to find some food one day. I was sick, so I stayed at her camp. I guess it must have been the beginning of radiation poisoning. Anyway, it was supposed to be safe, but some raiders happened to pass through where she was scavenging. I won't speak of what they did to her. When I found her body, the only way to recognize her was this funny little scar on her knee from when she was a little girl. That's terrible. Terrible doesn't begin to cover it, boss. I let my whole family down. First the ranch, now Rafaela. I was the last Tejada. I guess maybe I went a little crazy then. I took my guns and went back to that market. I didn't have many bullets, but I had enough. After the raiders were dead, I salvaged what I could from the store. I was tired. I just wanted to be alone forever. So what'd you do? I left Mexico City behind. I made my way out to the Gulf Coast. Eventually, I found an old Petro Chico refinery nobody had claimed. I stayed there for a little while, and I thought a lot about my life. I thought about the guns I'd lived by and what they'd gotten me. I decided my guns hadn't gotten me anything, and it was time to give it up. I took off the old Vaquero outfit and put on a Petro Chico jumpsuit. The name tag said Miguel, so I started using the name myself. Eventually, I made it to Arizona. That's not a story, boss. <laughs> Only tougher to scare. Hmm. He's a fairly talented smith. I mean, yeah. I don't know. So who's next? We'll talk to Betsy. Never seen you around before. What do you want? Well, that's... The... Uh, you're a sniper? What gave me away? The big gun? The shades? Or the attitude? Uh, the big gun. Yup. A lot of people make that connection. Big gun. Sniper. Some people don't even need to ask. Have we seen any serious combat here? Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobetz keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Okay, Ranger Andy. Gotcha. What do you mean? Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes they get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. First I've heard about conscience in a while. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone cold bitch after all. <laughs> this won't go well. How about a date? I like tough women. Yeah, right. You're sniffing up the wrong skirt. Try me again when you're tall, blonde, and female. Hmm. Not about the blonde, but how you about how you feel about chicks in power armor? This is really jumping the thing here. Um. Yeah, try not to get killed. We'll talk to her again in a second. Smart move for the kings to back down. I'm Bitterroot, first recon. You got a reason to talk to me? Bitterroot, you have an unusual name. You trying to start trouble? Or do you really not know where I got that name? Eh, uh eh. -uh. I don't mean to offend. You don't have to tell me if you'd rather not. It's a con name. You know, the great cons. That's what my parents were. I figured I grew up around the bastards. 
They owe me a name after all they put me through. What happened to your parents? They're dead. Got themselves killed at Bitter Springs. Served them right, if you ask me. Tell me about what happened to them at Bitter Springs. It was a massacre. That's what a lot of NCR folk will tell you. Most of them feel plenty bad about what happened. But I was there. Saw it myself. I don't care what anybody says. The cons asked for Bitter Springs. They wouldn't leave the NCRB. They kind of did. Too. They were just as bad as the rest. I mean, they were... They were super asking for it. I mean... Uh, how did you survive the massacre? Guess I could tell a pretty good story if I had a mind. But the truth is, I don't know. Just got lucky. They brought me to Daughtry after the battle. He was just a captain back then. Guess he saw something in me. Knew I didn't belong with the cons. Maybe he felt bad, too. About how his men killed my folks. I told him he did me a service, but he didn't believe me. Still doesn't. He's a good man, Daughtry. Doesn't act like it sometimes, I know. But he didn't have to take me in. You gotta tell me something. You couldn't have forgotten the whole massacre. It's like I tell Major Daughtry. Best not to look under a rock if you don't really want to know what's there. Could be that NCR found some blood on me and none of it mine. Could be that a few of those cons didn't die from NCR bullets. Hmm. I had scores of my own to settle. Deeper ones than NCR ever had. Don't bother asking who they were with. Good enough for me. You don't really mean what you said about your parents, do you? Don't I? Mister, you never met my parents. My dad he got himself fucked up every chance he got. Always started with folk for no reason. Hell, he was the one who taught me to shoot. You know how? By taking pot shots at NCR. And not just soldiers. Civilians, too. Mm-hmm. Kids. Then he'd get high with his buddies and swap tales about the folk they killed. Bunch of animals. And my mom? A couple of times she tried to sell me to some waster just to score some jet. Even the other cons said she was useless. Only reason they kept her around was because she was a... <clears throat> How'd my dad say it? A smoking piece of ass. <laughs> so yeah, taking pot shots at civilians and kids, huh? And we should feel bad about... Them getting slaughtered at Bitter Springs. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm half tempted to um, bring the cons into the fold, shall we say. So your name, it comes from Bitter Springs. You're not fully grown till you've taken a beat down. Everybody gathers around and hits you till you're damn near dead. After that... If you haven't begged for mercy, you get to choose a new name. One you'll use for the rest of your life. When NCR slaughtered the cons at Bitter Springs, I hadn't got my beat down yet. I was still too young. The way I see it, Bitter Springs was my beat down. So afterward, I gave myself a name. It's all I got from the cons. It's all I ever want. I don't think you can finish the con stuff since you already succeeded, I think. Well, not quite, it seems. Let's talk about something Yeah, else. that's probably best. Uh, I like you, dude. How long have you been with the first recon? While, I guess. I don't keep too careful track of time. I like to keep things simple. Just focus on now. That's why they made me a sniper. You let your mind wander back a ways and you lose sight of what's in front of your eyes. Good way to miss a mark. You know, your father's your commanding officer? Is that loud? Yeah, look. He's not my real father. He just looked after me for a while. It's a long story. And I'd get tired of talking before it was through. Uh, it's like I told you. Daughtry's not my real father. He just looked after me for a while. <laughs> not too friendly, are you? <laughs> Guess not. I don't mean nothing by it. You really want to talk to somebody, try ten of spades. He's always got plenty to say. Oh, boy. Me? I'm here to do my job. For now, that job is shooting fiends. We're going to find some work around here. You a merc? Well, then I guess you want to talk to my father, Major Daughtry. 
He's our CO. Uh, goodbye. All right. Goodbye. Where is Tennis Spades? Hey, Ten. Hey, my man. Tennis Spades. First recon sharpshooter at your s service. Uh, are you all right? Oh, yeah. F fine. Just a little st st stutter. Had it since I was a kid. Doesn't stop me from kicking ass. Good for you. I'm sure it doesn't. D damn right. Tennis Spades. Where'd you get that name from? The LT. Gorobets gave it to me. See, I'm wanted to be ace of spades but the lt says sorry kid you're t t t too green so he calls me 10 instead it's okay though i get a few more k k kills under my belt he'll move me up to jack jack of spades sounds better right i keep at it eventually i'll make it to ace i think i'll skip queen though yeah how long have you been, been a sharpshooter shit long as i can remember had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad always says. Learned to shoot on our ranch, way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a f f f farm kid, too. I believe the game is Scar Farm, precisely to hide the fact that couldn't. It made his face for the starter to look real. That's actually interesting. I never thought of that. When did you enlist in the military? Oh, they recruited me, what, a year ago? Taught me to kick even more ass than before. These guys, they really know how to kick some ass. And what do you do around here? Kicking ass. Mostly kicking ass. See, we're watching the perimeter right now. Looking for those fiends to come back. When they show their faces, that's when we go to work. One shot, one k k kill. That's the first recon way. Hmm. Goodbye. Yeah, I'll s s see you around. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Where did Gorobets go? One of the Ranger vets looked at me, and I just about surrendered. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Eh. Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Dotri owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Are you supposed to be famous for something? Well, shit. Feel free to stick a knife in the old ego. Thought I made a name for myself around here. Guess that's as good a reason as any to quit this stinking trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. Shit. I'd settle just for the women. Why does Dotri owe you caps? Because I killed a couple of marks for him. That's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? I take it they were fiends? Damn right they were. And they were good, too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. How long have you been a bounty hunter? Oh, shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than I last in most jobs. Yeah. Uh, you've worked a lot of different trades? Oh, yeah. A lot. Like, before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. Yeah. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. <laughs> I've been known to hunt a few bounties myself. Well, hey, the field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. What are you going to do now? Simple. Going to make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my cash from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. There's not as many people playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured out. Uh, that's not how that works, but whatever. Why'd you quit the trade? See, I thought the bounty hunting trade would be easy money. But it turns out it's hard work, so screw it. <laughs> also, I ran into this mark who was a little too tough for me. I mean, I could have taken him. But with this guy, might have cost me some bad burns or an ass rape. <laughs> I'm all for risking my life, but I'm a little sensitive about my asshole. He's talking about Cook Cook. Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? 
Maybe next time I see you, I'll be wiping my ass with you. Just saying. Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. Brr? Hello. I will take the things. Oh. Can't take more things. Garbats! Oi! Hello. I'm Lieutenant Gorobetz, First Recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. Tell me about First Recon. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. Yep, looks like Daughtry's our, Daughtry's our man. But I want to get this out of the way, too. What's wrong with Betsy? Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her in ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at first recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. That's fucked up. I can talk to Betsy about getting medical help for her trauma if you want. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with the idea. What happened to Sterling? Corporal Sterling was an NCR ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to First Recon. Tell me about First Recon. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye... You already said that. Does the NCR usually offer bounties on people? If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the military. Goodbye. Carry on. One of the rings best looked at okay, now yeah, let's go talk to Betsy. Wait, what, is, what does the quest line actually say? Okay, just talk to her. Yeah? You should get medical help for your trauma. The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? I mean, that's, that's admirable in a way, but... That's dumb. Jeez, the speech seems harsh. But then again, that's the way she talks. I don't know. It's a psyche thing. Okay, yeah, check on that for me, please. I mean, it's probably fine, but I'd rather double check. Normally I have more medicine at this point, but I've been working on other stuff. So she might not have even been necessarily uh, uh, gay before. It's just that she's probably gotten so fucked up. Doesn't matter, okay. Uh, you're a weak link. I know it, you know it, and First Recon knows it. Do something about it. Damn. Never had you pay for the drill instructor type, but you got my attention. You can yeah. tell the lieutenant that I finally caved. I'll... get help. There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. Yes. Okay. And before we go, I thought you should know. Cook Cook is dead. You killed him? Well, shit. Here I dreamed up this whole elaborate revenge fantasy. Didn't really think I'd do it, but as long as the tubby bastard was actually alive, I could pretend like I would. Here, I owe you. Take it and get out of here, before I indulge my inner bitch and spoil the moment. You know, at this point, like, honestly, 
This is where I'd say, well, his head's right here if you want to have some fun with it. Like, I'll lose out in the bounty, but that's okay if, it, if it'll make you feel better. That's, all, that's seriously what I'd do because I could totally understand something like that. Something like that's f fucking terrible. And you know what? Yeah. What can I do for you? Huh? <laughs> What's funny? I convinced Cor Corporal Betsy to get help from Dr. Usanagi. I caught the tail end of what she said to her. Betsy looked like she'd been slapped right back into basic for a few seconds there. <laughs> Let's hope that Betsy sticks with the treatment. Knowing her, she won't keep seeing Usanagi if she feels things are taking too long. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy is coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. Okie dokie. Carry on. Oh, yeah, you have my suggestion to do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean... I'm, I'm sure there's, there's some, like, you know... Uh, psychiatrists or whatever out there that would probably say... No, you shouldn't linger on something like that, you know. But for me, no. This is this is. It can help bring some, a, a form of closure, I think. And you know, especially if she's going to go to the doctor afterwards. Yeah, let, let her get this out of her system. That, that's that's what I do. It's it's worth it to me. Okay, uh, you know what? Uh, well, now nah, we'll go find, uh, what's-his-face first. Go turn our shit. We'll go talk to Usanagi and then go talk to Ranger Andy. Oh, where is Daughtry? Hello. Excuse me, ma'am, where's Daughtry? I have to imagine he's probably in one, like in one of the actual buildings. Are you peeping? What are you doing? In there by any chance? Or did I miss him like a dumbass? Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Is is the stream buffer? No, it's it's green right now. It's a little overcast outside, but as far as I can tell, it's it's green. I mean, if that's the case, it could be Twitch this time. Hmm, where's Dotry? It's probably all in the building over there. What? No. Wait a minute, I could have... Sw Maybe it's been too long and I don't remember properly, but I thought Daughtry was outside. Hey. Well, I did... Re there was name was Daughtry, but like... Wait a minute, isn't he... Hmm... We don't have a quest to go talk to Daughtry, do we? Hey, by the way... Uh, the oh, oh my papa quest will still re remain open. I can talk to more, unless it's bugged or something like that. Talk to the, her about the the great cons, and they'll be like, uh, and she'll talk about Regis's. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about Regis's plan. She's like, oh well, if you knock off, uh, you know, what was his name? Big Papa Pump, right? Big Papa Pump. Uh, <laughs> it's not his name at all, but whatever. If you get rid of Big Papa Pump. That takes care of the leader that would be opposed to joining the NCR, and yeah. Is it right over there? Uh, I just checked again. It's green, dude. Wait. Okay, now it now it's like flipping out a little bit. It seems to be taking its spells. Excuse me. Let me watch it for a bit. It turned yellow, orange, and red for a bit. It seems to be stable now. I think I was mostly doing it when I wasn't looking. Okay, 
uh, whatever. But yeah, that's the whole thing with uh, Oh My Papa. Um, so... Yeah, okay, so let's just find Daughtry. Where is this? Oh, hi. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. This dude is kind of heavily buffering. That was me. No, it's... It still looks fun right now, but it's... I don't know. Uh, what do you know about the fiends? Back of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Hmm. Uh, might be. Give me their names. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast, and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them. You're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it going to be? Well, gee, I just killed them while I was out wandering around. I want to clean my bounty. That right. You killed one of the psychopaths on my shit list? Let me see the scumbag's head. God damn it. That's Violet, all right. You've made me one happy son of a bitch, you know that? Here, this is the bounty I put on her head. It's yours. Sweet. Think you can take down another one of these scumbags? Up to you. But I can trust you to do the job, and I'd hate to see you walk away. Okay, man, gotcha. I'll take care of things here, and yeah. Nothing I'll need help with for a bit. Well, not that I need help anyway, but it's always nice to have it. I actually have another head here. You killed another one. Let me have a look at the head. Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this, even before he was dead? And the fiends let this guy touch their food? Well... This is payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. That's two psychopaths dead. If you can bring down the third, there's a bonus in it for you. All right, I'll go after driver Nephi. Nephi. You've got some guts. I'll give you that. Nephi is one tough son of a bitch. You let him get close, and he'll take your head off. My advice is this. Talk to Lieutenant Gorobetz. He's in charge of Alpha Team First Recon. The snipers. If you're lucky, you can lure Nefi into the open and the sharpshooters can bring him down. You bring me the head, you'll still get the bounty. It's a better bet than trying to take Nefi one on one, but it's your call. A lot of soldiers around. Where's First Recon? Out in the yard. Gorobetz coordinates our sniper teams. He's been gunning for Nefi for weeks now. Only thing he hasn't had is willing bait. Don't have enough troops to order anyone beyond the fence. Not anymore, anyway. Got it. One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. Uh, tell me again what you know about the target. Driver Nefi is a monster in close combat with that golf club of his. And that man is about as fast on his feet as any legionary. If you haven't already, see about getting Gora Betts and First Recon to help you. They've got things to settle with Driver Nefi too. Uh, you were at Bitter Springs, I'm told. Yeah, I was there. I was Captain Daughtry then. That whole situation was a mess and could easily have been avoided with good intel. The Major in charge at the time made a bad call. He thought Bitter Springs was full of great con raiders, so we surrounded the place. By the time any of us realized there were civilians down there, women and children, shooting had already started. 
The Major froze up at the news, and we couldn't get another word out of him. I took over and salvaged the situation as best I could. For my effort, I was promoted to Major. Not quite the way I'd have wanted it. Yeah, hopefully it's working okay now. I mean, again, it's still... It's, I mean, it, it could be going red temporarily when I'm not looking at it, but every time I've looked at it so far, except for that one time, um, it's been green. What can you tell me about great cons? We know they supply the fiends with illegal cams, but they never stick around in NCR territory for long. They know the land and move quick. There's talk from time to time about taking out their base at Red Rock Canyon, but nothing ever comes of it. The great cons are tough fighters. If we ever did go up against them on their home turf, we'd win. The casualties would be high. I heard your bitter roots father. Adoptive father, yes. I was very proud when he made first recon. I know that every time I send them out, I could be sending him to his death. But if it's not me, it'll be somebody else. At least this way I get one more chance to see him. Goodbye. Right. Okay, we're done here for now. Okay, let's go to... Okay, let's go to the clinic. Get him, boss. Whoa! That fits with your skin. Not so fast, cow. Oh, god damn it. Man, I'm so close to another level. Horse shit. I might get it here. Dr. Usanagi, hello. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Corporal Betsy from First Recon will be coming to you for medical treatment. Or mental treatment, sorry. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. Thank you, ma'am. Ooh, big XP. Hooray. Tell me about the clinic, anyway. Everything you see is funded by the followers of the apocalypse. We rely a lot on charity to provide low-cost medical services to the less fortunate. Communism! Uh, can I make a donation to the followers? Of course. We prefer bulk donations of 500 caps. It's apparently a lot easier on the accountants for some reason. Okay, we don't need any more but in character. Uh, here's 500 caps. Very much appreciated. These caps will go towards funding schools and other services to the poorer part of the community. Yeah. Yeah. Feels good, man. You don't get karma for that? That sucks. Are you one of the followers of the Apocalypse? Yes, I am. I received my medical training at the Angels Boneyard Medical University back in the NCR. It's not a requirement to be a follower to enter the university, but I believe in what they do, so I joined them. What do the followers believe in? We believe that technology for basic necessities like food, water, and medicine should be shared, not hoarded. Mm -hmm. Communism! We're also strongly in favor of proper education. I've come across more than a few doctors whose techniques came out of the back of a magazine. Bunch of filthy communists. Are the followers part of the NCR? We've worked with them in the past. The NCR became too focused on things like patents and profitability, so the followers go their own way now. Good capitalists. The NCR and the followers have a cool relationship at the moment. We see them as oppressive, and they view us as anarchists. Boneyard, I believe, is one of the towns you visit in the first, second game. Wasn't quite part of the NCR back then. Yeah, yeah, I was... I heard that name, I was like... I know I've heard Boneyard before. I mean, it... it wasn't a u university at the time, I'm sure, but... Yeah. Do the followers have a headquarters around here? We already yes, know that. Yes, the Mormon Ford in Freeside. It's hard to miss. Yeah, it really is hard to miss. That's all I wanted to know. Let's talk about something else. All right. Uh, goodbye. Take care. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Well, let's get that to 50. Mm -hmm. We have four skill points, and we can get this to, to fine, whatever. It's fine. 
And, uh, yep. There we go. Okay, what should we get this time? Let's see, what were the other ones I was talking about last time? Let's choose between inten uh, another point of intense training. Um, I mean, rapid reload's not bad, but... Looks like the sex sexiest thing we can get. Uh, running gun. I, I don't care about that. Uh, fortune finder, gunslinger, uh, healer. I mean, we don't really need that. Uh, toughness is one I'm thinking of. Vigilant recycler. Oh, okay, we don't need that because I don't use energy weapons. Uh, quick draw, don't need that. Not too worried about VAT's accuracy. I try to rely more on my own. Or at least... That's not even always true. But I'm not worried enough about VAT's accuracy to actually do that. Uh, Stonewall... Terrifying presence. Uh. Now, finesse. Maybe you can answer this for me. It says it acts like you're. Uh, it's equivalent to fire extra points of luck. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's giving me fire extra points of luck when it comes to crits. It just means basically plus 5% crit chance. Can you either confirm or deny this? Nice metabolism. Take your time. Life giver will get it at some point, I'm sure. But we're in no rush at all. So like if it just acts as just plus five crit percent, which is what I wish they would just come out and just say, yeah, you just get plus five percent crit. Okay, plus five. You know, that's that's probably really. I mean, we get quite a few crits as is, but I mean, more is better. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get finesse on. There we go. Maybe add a mantium skeleton next time. So in theory, if you had ten lucky to fifteen percent, yep. Plus any, plus some of my guns have like bonus crit chance and stuff like that. So, yeah, finesse is just good for anything. I mean, plus five percent crit. You know, like, you know, one in every twenty bullets you fire is a guaranteed crit with that. So, yeah. okay, Ranger Andy. Uh, where's Novak? No. That's arguably is least useful to stealth or level up characters. Um, I mean, I can I can see the stealth part. I'm not I'm not sure if I buy the argument that it's not useful to low lock. I think it's good all around, but I mean, I know some, I I'm sure I could probably be proven wrong or whatever. I hear the great cons just packed up and left Red Rock Canyon. I always thought the NCR would fight it out again. Hello. <laughs> Raul, you're being creepy. Hello, Ranger Andy. What's new? Uh, okay, actually, I don't have to do anything, do I? Look out for yourself. Do I? Do I have to hear your story again? Well, whatever. Let's, let's just talk to you. What's new? What do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. 
Yeah, he, he, they probably just want us to talk to him again or whatever. Uh, do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there, and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. We've heard all this before, so... Yeah. What'd you do? You were at the NCR, right? Like, I'm talking about the Rangers. Well, that happened. A few years. Look up. Okay, Raul. Triggers is hit by asking about what he's doing, and is like, okay. Raul, Raul, eh, 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 eh. I gotta talk to you. Angry soldier robots with bazookas. I'm sure they'll be a good police force. Yeah, we're fine. Sure. Go, oh, eh, eh. He might ask me about what he's doing. It's like, eh. yeah, maybe if we exit. Hey, boss. There we go. Can I ask you something? Sure. What's on your mind? What do you think of guys like Ranger Andy? Uh, I think he's a hero of the NCR. That wasn't what I meant, really. I mean, guys who have a world of experience doing what they do, but have to give it up because they're getting old and slow, or too injured. He's a crippling injury. A guy like Andy's tougher and more dangerous than most men alive. But he has to give it up. He's just scared he doesn't have what it takes anymore. Just because someone's crippled doesn't mean they're useless. All that experience is invaluable. Um, either the first or the third one. Hmm. Yeah, I was, I was kind of leaning towards the third one also. Just because someone's crippled doesn't mean they're useless. All that experience is invaluable. Yeah. I suppose you can still teach. Take a less active role in the world. That's not so bad. Is that what you did? Would it surprise you to know that I used to be a gunslinging adventurer? I left everything when I left Mexico. My home, my family, my name, even my face. I know it's surprising, boss, but I wasn't always just handsome. Hey. As far as the world knows, I was Miguel. And I was okay with that. I headed north for a while and ended up in Tucson. Not too sudden, by the way. Things were good there. Well, maybe not good, but better than Mexico City, anyway. I found myself a little shack and started fixing things. That was really quiet. Uh, fixing things? Oh, sure, boss. I was always good at fixing things. Some I fixed for the town, some I fixed for other people, some I fixed just for the hell of it. It's a better way to use your hands than killing. And even then, I wasn't getting any younger or faster. I lived there for a long time. Kept it myself. Didn't get into any fights. Hell, the only reason I even kept my guns oiled was professional pride. Why aren't you still there, then? Getting there, boss. I'd been in Tucson. The locals can call it Tucson all they want. But it's Tucson, damn it. About 75 years when she showed up. Prettiest thing you ever saw, boss. Maybe it was just a trick of my senile brain, but I swear she looked just like my Rafaela. Her name was Claudia. She ended up taking work at one of the brothels in town. I never went to her, of course. How could I? But I looked after her in my own way. <laughs> Ranger Andy is definitely not fighting anyone, but he's an invaluable teacher. Absolutely. Uh, what happened with her? This was a long time ago, before Caesar's Legion pacified Arizona and brought the raider tribes to heal. A tribe came into Tucson one day. More a gang, really. Dirty Dave and his six brothers. They were looking for bullets, and I sold some to them. I figured if I did that, they'd leave town before they tore it up too much. But they didn't, did they? No, boss. No, they didn't. As I was saying, I hoped they'd leave the town in peace. Instead, they decided to stop at Claudia's brothel to take the edge off. I don't know which one of them got rowdy first. 
But by the time I heard the screams and got my guns, it was too late. They shot up the brothel, killed four girls, and taken Claudia for their sport. Did you rescue her? I went after Dave and his brothers. They had a head start, but they slept nights. I didn't. It took me three days to catch up to them. Claudia was dead when I got there. They put a bullet in each of her eyes. I couldn't do anything except avenge her, just like Rafaela. I charged into the middle of their camp and started firing. Two of them were dead before they knew I was there. The other five, though, they shot the shit out of me. I would have died, I think, if I wasn't so full of rage. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. Uh, how'd you survive? By being a meaner old cuss than the rest of them, boss. I wanted to keep living until they weren't. So I just kept shooting until they were all dead. I was in pretty bad shape in the end, though. I don't know how long I laid there with the sun baking me and the buzzers chomping at me. Eventually, I got the strength to start moving. Some long time after that, I managed to drag my carcass back to town. What happened then? When I recovered, more or less anyways, I left Tucson and headed west. I ran into Tabitha at Black Mountain, and well, the rest you know. I swore I was done with the gunslinging life. I was too old, too slow, and too beat up to protect anyone anymore. I thought I was done forever, but after traveling with you, I realized I've always had my doubts. Doubts? About what? About whether I'm really too old to keep living the life of a gunslinger after all. And after seeing what you go through, boss, I think I am. From now on, I'll let you deal with the fighting and stick to keeping your gear working. I don't want to slow you down more than I already do. I don't know you think is bad. I mean, it's not going to really matter. I, I, I'll just go ahead and... If that's what you think is best, I won't stop you. Thanks, boss. I'd hate to think I was disappointing you with my life-altering decision. I was giving you full maintenance perk. This replaces the regular maintenance perk. And now he has a better uh, jumpsuit. If you take the other option, I think that's how he be goes back to being a vaquero. And he becomes a better fighter. But, yeah. But since I won't be using him, uh, if you let him be a mechanic, you'll retire and fix things. Then they go bandito, chubby tail, but go school who hunts those who prey on the weak. Oh. I mean, neither of those are bad endings for him. Um, I do like the idea of going around and uh, just shooting up bad guys. Yeah, a bit. Uh, yeah, it's it's fine. Killing bad guys is good, of course, but you know, the world needs more. L l let's focus our efforts on peace and try and fix things. You know. I mean, after all, that's what the NCR is going to be here for, to blow away the bad guys, hopefully. This makes the most sense, I think. This is a, fixing things is a very noble pursuit. He doesn't have people fix shit, or he goes Punisher on everyone. <laughs> I do like the idea of Punisher Raul, but... Uh, like, both brain and heart are together in this one. Like, yeah, let's let's... Let, let's fix shit. Fixing stuff is a better use of his skills. There's a lot more people in, out there that can shoot a gun and hit bad people. There's far less people that can fix important things. What if a water purifier needs fixed? Or, you know, something like that. Fun fact, he has a sweet tooth. That's that's cool. And he has unique lines for hitting him gun, uh, gum or sunset. Ooh. Alright. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. I will.
Nothing? Yeah, boss. Just yeah. What? Well, you didn't like the sunset sarsaparilla? Supposed to say a line. Well, boo. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. What if I give you all my sunset sarsaparilla? No? Don't worry, boss. I'm sure Caesar just wants to invite you over for coffee or something. That's all. You've got a lot to say. So, the line he said before was in response to something. He thought something I did was gross, probably. Or he didn't like the sunset sarsaparilla for some reason? Don't worry, boss. I'm sure the sudden tension in the air is just a thunderstorm. You what? Okay, so maybe I was wrong about the thunderstorm thing. I admit it. Eh? Sure, boss. What can I do for you, boss? Okay, that's all he's got. You're gonna rot my teeth, boss. We'll talk to them anyways. You're How'd you know I had sweet tooth, boss? Ah, that's just what this dry old throat needs. Huh. Well, at least we get to see the lines this way. Alright, Roll. Time has come. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. What can I do for you, boss? All right, my friend. It's time to uh, to enjoy a, a, a cushy life for a bit. I need to head on without you. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. It is. We'll meet up at the Lucky Thirty Eight. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. I was on the Lucky Thirty Eight. Whoops, I was crushing my phone with my big cup. That's uh, not good. Boone! Is it time? It's time. I'm ready when you are. Right. Now then, carry my shit. It's fine by me. Uh, let's see. I've got a lot of bullets for that thing. Really, I should have repaired some of that shit, but whatever. It's fine. Then we have to look at the page for all the possible trust points. Boom will take a while. We'll try talking to him. Okay. Then Boone, you might be talking about your booty than the light, right? <clears throat> that guy Benny was a piece of work. Yeah, that's the question I wanted to ask you. Okay, does the name Benny mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Pretty sure we asked him this stuff before. What can you tell me about New Vegas? It's NCR land for the most part. We tamed it, now we're settling it. A lot of people complain about it, but they forget what it was like before we showed up. It's a lot of territory to secure. Too much, even for a big army like the NCRs. Different question. Okay. How do you feel about the NCR? Coming east was about securing the land so people could live without fear. Yeah. 
It's not always that simple, but I think the cause is still right. And God help us if they lose. That's kind of how I feel. Like I know it's NCR is, is far from perfect, but people deserve a chance at you know living without fear, having access to a regular access to to shelter, food, medicine, and water. You know, we we can work out the shitty bits later. Let's get the basics down, and then we can worry about you know other things. Okay. Thoughts about Caesar's Legion? Yeah, lots of thoughts. All about the best ways to kill him. We're gonna have some yeah. fun soon, I think. Okay, let's see if I can... You know what? I'll open it on my phone. I can do that. So bear, bear with me, everybody. My friend has sent me a link to Trust Points. We'll go ahead and do that. Mm, let's see... Chat. I forgot to remember to forget. Oh, God, I've got bad heartburn this morning. Ugh. Great walk through. Game bonus charge was the Stupid thing. What's that ability to command activate? Blah, 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 blah. There are better written camp account about us toward doing the many barriers for you. In order to trigger that growth. Yeah, there's five history. Mine's okay. Let's see, well, whoops, we've already, ki we've already killed Volp Volpace. I've uh, already talked to Bitterroot. Um, Legion POW Silas. The uh, mission they put a spell on you, can find kill a spy in the air, can fuck around. So I crash back in your own backyard. Kill, kill the hostages, save them. So to save all three hostages after that. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't done enough of the stuff yet. Uh, I can't wreck it. We're doing Ivan and the guys just to kill all these men. Okay, uh, well. I think it's good time for us to go slaughter some uh, legionnaires. What do you think? Let's see. Legionnaires can't do this. Okay, we already did booted, but he wasn't around for that. I think we did booted. If do I put a spell on you, save the hostages, and eradicate the camp? Didn't we already, like, free some powder gangers a long time ago? Back in your own backyard, or... It's two for saving hostages. The price only gives you one point. Red can't, can't give you two points. Precisely five points. This is it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to speak to James Stewart. Okay. Well then, back to McCarran. There's also points for going to kill Caesar. We could do that. Oh, no, you're eradicating the... Well, okay. Eradicating the camp, you're talking about the fort, I imagine. I thought you were talking about, like, Cottonwood Cove or something. Right, anyway. 
Boone, we've got some work to do. Now, I'm not sure where her shoe is. Is he actually inside? A platoon of veteran rangers is like a tactical nuke, only tougher to scare. Kill the spy in the act, eh? Yeah, let's make another save just to be safe. New carry board, didn't mention. Is he inside? Move, burn. I wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Uh, upstairs, perhaps. I really don't know where he hangs out. Just realized what. But didn't we already talk to Bitterroot and exhaust his dialogue? Or can I do it again? Boyd's in there with a prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. Oh. Well, let's. Uh, we can go try and talk to him again. Although I might have to wait till day daytime. Oh, well, it's almost daytime anyway. No, I won't hurt it on, but it'll be easier than doing this. Probably. Oh, bust you! You're garbage. You bust. I've been seeing Usanagi, and things are better. I'm not so angry all the time, you know? And, uh, I'm not trying to jump every woman in camp. Well, not all the time, anyway. How about a date? Thanks for your help with Usanagi and all. But I still like him tall, blonde, and female. Rats. Yeah. Try not to get killed. Veronica will be displeased. Uh, let's go to bed. Uh, yeah, you. Didn't think you'd be back. What's this about? Um, how many may have first? Let's just do all this again. Alright. Alright, Boone, you got anything to say? Yeah? Yeah? No? So, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Go and kill Sneezer. You know, it seems you can only talk to him about it once. Okay. That's kind of what I was thinking. No, it's okay. That's fine. We'll go. We'll go do this. As long as I don't fuck it up. I am known to fuck up. <laughs> I'm known to struggle. I right, went that way. Uh. I opened this before. I could have just loaded, couldn't I? Is this a separate thing? You got something to say? You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Do you need help? Yeah. So far, this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. 
Is that a big deal? Better believe it. Everybody, everybody in Caesar's Legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. What do you think it means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. sneak attack. You can't the door lock or If you have high enough you can get able to keep hold out weapons. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's see. 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 Yes, and one time I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was unflattering. But I think he just got some dust in his eye. Oh. What about a truth drug? Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. <laughs> but even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. Well, just beat your prisoner senseless. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Thank you. Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. Hey! So you want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Yep. Right. Okay, so... This is... Something we can do for a point also. But I don't think we can do it the way I want to do it. You're back. At least not get both ways or whatever. Yeah, you need any help? Oh, I gotta do this whole thing again. Bah. I don't, well, the problem is, even if I, I was going to say, okay, I'll go get a detonator, but the problem is, I don't have the sneak to get it in anyway. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were going to give me. Oh? 
For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Seelus? If you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. I mean, I thought I saw and that there was something... I need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Let's finish this up, then we can talk. No, it didn't let me keep the uh, the C4. Does it be, let me keep my holdouts at least? Well, let's see what happens anyway. We'll make another save. Like if the rewards aren't worth it, then I don't know. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Your mother. Uh, I think you're confused. I'm with the excrement right now. You must have some reason to be in your line of work. Tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson? Whatever it was, I hope I was there to give the order. And to think of some people out there that think, no, it's good what the Legion's doing. No. 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 It's, it's, it's not. It, it's not. It is objectively not good what the Legion does. But they bring order. No. No. At, at the cost of slaughtering a bunch of people. No. I'm sorry. Sorry to, to, uh, sorry for my moral faggotry, but fuck you. There is nothing good about the Legion. The problem with Legion is about the same as Rome doing the captured area. It falls apart eventually. Yes. That too. I mean... Yeah. You must miss giving orders. Now all your men are dead. Foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves. To have conflict removed from their minds. They kill themselves to evade capture because they are not trusted to make such a decision rationally in the heat of battle. But I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the tiniest iota of information to my captors. Uh huh. Sounds like me. You were too gutless to follow Caesar's orders. I'll show you gutless, you sniveling bastard. <laughs> I'll spill your guts all over this room. Well, fuck face. Is something the matter, Silas? You look upset. Here, maybe you'd better step out for a moment. You've upset him. Oh, yeah, that's a fucker word. Miserable fucking degenerate. I don't know. I thought he seemed like a nice guy. If we were on the other side of the river, I'd have him torn apart by dogs. That's a long walk, Silus. I don't think it's gonna happen. It will, Boone. Don't, don't worry. Just talk. Your tactics are a joke. If you don't like dealing with me, I can bring my friend back in. Both of you can rot. Have it your way. Come on back in. I think he misses you. Don't worry, we'll make the trip. We'll have lots of fun on the other side. I promise. Hi! We don't have anything to discuss, worm. You should talk to her for someone who's afraid to die. Uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Actually, I like this one. More. But I want to know how a coward can attain the, the rank of Centurion. Coward? I've faced odds that would make your NCR soldiers wet themselves. I've led charges against men with guns carrying only my knife. And I can tell you, it was they who feared me. But suicide is a weak death on a battlefield. It says to your enemy that you fear capture. It says if you're caught, you can be broken. Uh, I would say make it it would be nice if they made the Legion more gray than black. Yeah, I mean, this is, like, comical. Like, I can't, like... Because their idea of order is, like... Uh, is is basically, like, a... I, I know this is a word that's overused, but it's, it's basically Nazi-esque, right? 
Let, let, let's get rid of let, let's get rid of all the these subhumans, right? Let's get rid of all the, rid of all these weaklings, and then we'll make our our perfect society, ruled by one strong dictator. If you can't go through with it, you're looking. Weak. And if you can't go if you can't go through with it, you look even weaker. You think I'm going to slit my throat for some megalomaniacal self-appointed dictator? Oh? I didn't work my way up to have it all be taken from me out of some irrational paranoia. Kaisar's losing it. I believe that. Uh -huh. He's been shutting himself in his tent. Privately, he complains of headaches. Whatever it is, it's affecting his ability to lead. I complain of headaches. Continue listening. Time was essential for my mission, but we waited three days for him to dispatch us. Another of his headaches. Does that sound like a man in command? He has an operative planted in this very base, but does he use his agent to rescue me? No. He's content to have the agent spend his nights radioing troop positions back to our base camp. He knows I'm here, and he's left me to rot. Oh, well, who's, who's the operative? I don't know. I know he sends intelligence by radio in the middle of the night. Sometimes that intelligence would find its way to my cantery. I don't believe you. You're lying. Then you're a fool. That man reports to Kaisar on what I do here. The Legion isn't going to take me back. My only hope is to escape and disappear. But if I escape and he reports it, they'll hunt me down as long as I live. It served me to report him as much as it served you. See, don't you feel better now that you've divulged all those state secrets? I hope the Legion burns your wretched body at the stake when they conquer this place. Nothing I could tell you would do anything to stop that. Get away from me. You know, we could probably beat him up now. Now we do double damage in vats, and this is should be a sneak attack. We'll see what happens. Uh, Legion could be ruthless, but rewarding to see those who are loyal and follow the rule of law. And we can could be scribes and scientists. Well, after all, Caesar is a former follower. Okay, yeah, go ahead and try it. Yeah, might as well. Kablooies! I didn't do it. Your mother. Hey ho. Haven't you done enough? What? Yep. See you around. I got the information. <laughs> well, it, it says that it's supposed to do double damage in Vance, but I like. Falcon punched him into a million pieces. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you care? I got the information. You want, mate? Boo! That's so stupid. We got the info. Ugh. 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 Mmm. Mmm. That is frustrating. Boo. I mean, I didn't kill him. I mean, what sort of man could punch another man into a bazillion bits? Don't mention Fast of the North Star. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? Haven't you done enough? No! I didn't do anything! There's no way a man like me could have done that. No, it doesn't hinge on him, but still... Lame. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him, and I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So, think of this as your commission. Thanks. And, uh... Well, we get more experience doing it the other way, but we get caps this way, I guess. 
Who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? I can't read. That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Yep. See you around. Oh, well, at least we're idolized now. Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave of the strip. Ooh, is that? Oh, oh, I thought I thought there was a skeleton in there. Wait, is there a skeleton? No, it's fine. Man, that's lame. I just, wait, wait, is there something in there? Hello? Oh. Sounds like it's going to be an all-out war with the Legion soon. Maybe I should have re-enlisted after all. Did you say anything about the bitter what spring stuff? No. A part of my life. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. Well, we still gotta find Shu. Stupid asshole. Where is Shu? Two points of trust, you get a thing to talk to him about. Okay. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for He's not over here, right? This is this leads out to that one thing, I think. No, no. Uh I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. Or do I? Did the colonel send you? I... I was hoping he might have changed his mind. Eh? You look upset. What's wrong? I know. I've been crying. Stupid. I'm supposed to be a soldier. My husband. He's a ranger and he... He got murdered by a pack of fiends. Goddamn savages laid his body out to rot. Brass won't say it to me straight, but they mean to leave Esteban out there. I can see that plain. It seems strange that the NCR wouldn't do their best to retrieve a fallen comrade. Colonel says he can't spare the men to bring Esteban back home. And the fiends, they put all kinds of mines and traps around his body. Snipers, too. No one else will help you? His best friend, Jackson, tried. Didn't even get permission from his CO, so it could have cost him a lot. But he never came back. I'll recover your husband's body. Mister, I'd about given up hope. But you've got to be careful. I don't want anybody else dying on my account. Esteban's body is laid out between some of the buildings, east of the Repcon headquarters. At least that's what his squad mate said. There's an NCR position just north of there. It's on the way. They should be able to tell you what the situation is. Right. Here's the course of it. Oh, it's not even an actual quest? Okay. Uh, don't mind if we go another hour and call it quits about that? Sure. That's fine, man. Oh, they take the time to go to bed early, or just dick around playing something else. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Okay, where the fuck is Shu? God, you filthy motherfuckers. Pick up your damn bar. Dirty boy. Listen, asshole, I know you're not really an NCR health inspector, so you can cut the restaurant critique routine. Whoa. And I want my 50 caps back. Because I looked it up, and there ain't no disease called colorectal implosion syndrome. So I paid you to look the other way for nothing. 
Wait, wait. You're not. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. You look just like. Never mind. Sorry. So, what can I serve you up? Also, if you want to, uh, you can technically console and trust points with Boone. I could cheat like that, but. I mean, it's fine. We can. You know what? We should, uh. Is there a health inspector bothering you? Nah, it's nothing. You just look like the health inspector who stopped through for the yearly inspection a couple of weeks back. I was hoping I wouldn't have to wait another 11 months to see his crooked ass to get my caps back. Ah, well. Anything I can get you? Oh, yeah. You can order up anything you want. As long as it's corn or beans. <laughs> just kidding. Haven't you heard? With a few shipments from home and a little variety, the troops are getting restless for some quality grub. You can only do so much as a chef with just corn, beans, onions, and peppers. Mm, I love onions and peppers. Uh, can anything be done to improve your supplies? Well, we haven't had any quality meat in months. Everyone in the camp just eating beans for protein. It isn't pretty. Some of my kitchen machinery is broken down too, so we've been eating mostly raw vegetables. And I'm desperate for spices or seasonings. Anything, just something for the general mood around here. Uh, we accrued four points at this point, so in theory, if you want to add those, I can tell you the. I mean, I guess we have accrued points, but I mean, it's fine. I mean, I planned on bringing Boone to slaughter Legionnaires anyway, so that's fine. Or it's fine for now. I mean, if something fucks up, we'll we'll I, we'll make sure that we get the trust points one way or the other. And I'm tired of looking for shoe. If I don't find him in the next few minutes, I'm just gonna go say screw it. Time to go kill legionnaires. Yeah, we missed one point from Tony the Bear Root uh, doing booted and others. So yeah, but we're just justify meeting the amount you need here. It doesn't need to all come from the same source. There are a bunch of different vendors around who sell meat. Fitz, the Nashes, Crimson Caravan. We've never really tried to go out and organize deals with merchants to supply our food. Already having an overstock of food, we haven't needed to. But we really need some good old red meat on the menu soon. So I'm willing to divert some caps in their direction if they're open to supply us. What parts need to fix the food processor? Here's the list. We've been scrapping together quick fixes to keep it running for months. I think it finally crapped out and needs a full overhaul. It's the goofy machine behind the counter in the corner next to the stove. I'd be much obliged if you could take a look at it and get it fixed up. We just have to do this stuff, right? Yeah. This is an unmarked quest. Yeah, it's an unmarked quest. Where might I find these parts? I don't know. Try the various traders around the waste. Or the pawn shop on West Side might have some parts. Oh, I've heard of a place called House Tools you could check out. It's an old factory on the north side of Vegas. Just a word of warning, though. I hear no one who goes in there comes back out. Could be traps, crazy robots, or who knows what's in that place. Uh, where should I look for spices? The Crimson Caravan would probably be able to arrange a regular shipment, but I don't know of any spices known to improve mood. Hell, we have a whole research department. One guy's even set up in the main terminal building. They're the ones who ought to be looking into it. So we have to, to kill the spy in the act, save the hostages, and white cotton beef. Well, not save the hostages. We can't do that anymore. Uh, wipe out the fort, I think you mean. What about something else? Uh, jury rig the machine, sure. I passed several broken redundant code processors using nothing more than body pins, tape, and a trooper's Swiss Army knife. You managed to get the machine running. Hey! Hey, hey. Back for seconds, huh? I fixed the food processor. Amazing. I thought that thing was done for. That'll help me transform what I can offer the troops. I'll give you a little extra discount the next time you buy food from me. Thanks again. Come back soon now. 
Oh, Nelson. Okay, I thought you were talking about uh, booted. Okay, shoo. Seriously. Okay, we don't even have to really talk to Shu, do we? All we have to do is go to the... the control tower or whatever? At night? Eh? You look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Boy, them eyes. Got anything for sale? Take your pick. What you got, fool? I'll go ahead and give you this. What's wrong? Toma, don't need that. I really don't plan on using a helmet. Hello, flagged. I'm too tired to figure out where he's hanging out right now. That's okay. Really, I should have found him by now, but. He's being an asshole. Elbar. But is he say, say. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Are you selling 63 boxes of ammo? It's five million millimeter surplus, but it's interesting. Uh, is there anything here I really want? Not really. Although, god damn, he has a shit ton of twelve point seven, like a crap ton. Another satisfied customer. What kind of supplies do you, did you have in mind? Are you implying I have some kind of secret under the table stash I only offer to certain clients? Because that could get a man in trouble. That can be pretty resourceful. Maybe we can work out a deal? Now you're talking my language. I do have an expanded inventory for people I can trust. If you're willing to do a little legwork for me, I could give you access to my stash and at a discount. Many of these items aren't available in the NCR, and you'll be hard-pressed to find them at a better price anywhere else. Sounds good to me. What do you need done? Well, I can't exactly go wandering off the base whenever I want, you know. They're already suspicious. I can hear the MPs now. Gee, Contreras, I didn't know you had so many friends in the gun runners. Speaking of which, I guess your first stop. You're just passing a little note to a man named Isaac for me. I want to know which girl he likes. I'll do it. Great, let me know what he says. They're almost a straight shot north from here, up past the sharecroppers. Bye bye. Um, that's all you'll be doing here. To the outside. Okay, where the fuck is Shoe? This is getting really annoying. Man, this Harper is getting me. Ugh. So how are you doing, Flag? Uh, why does this place have to be so fucking huge? I mean, I know it's an airport and everything, but ugh. Put that away. Oh, he's in the main terminal building on first floor, near the scientist room. Well, shit. Will do. 
if I can figure out how to get back. I'll just quick travel if I have to. And, oh, well, here we go. Terminal building. Okay, scientist room A. I wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Something I can do for Motherfucker, you were here the whole time. We're all impressed with the work you've done for us. Thought you might be able to make use of this. It's a key to a little hideaway south of here. We've used it as a place for rangers to rest and resupply. I thought you might get good use out of it. Hooray! Let's see... I'm here to provide support. Is there anything I might be able to help with? Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Uh, any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. You seem calm given that things are as bad as they are. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. I'll, I'll have to check uh, uh, that if it has gear like the followers place said. Yep. Yes, indeed. I could look into who's leaking NCR intelligence. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Put a spell on you. Okay, finally. Who are the fiends? As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. Well, gee, you sent a ranger by himself to Vault 3? Come on. I'll go to Vault 3 and see if I can find your ranger. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You've found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. What challenges does the SCR face here? And remember to do your conquests first. Um, conquests. Oh, before I go trashing the fiends. Gotcha. Uh, what challenges did the NCR face? Everything was going according to President Campbell's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers. But our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the Strip and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. How are things going for the NCR around here? Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. It's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers, and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. 
I think the last conquest for drug running is handing a drug package to motor runner. You have to keep him alive until completion of that quest. And then you're free to murder. <laughs> right. Where does that leave you? Now we're trying to secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. What's Camp McCarran's role in NCR operations? It's our main base. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the strip, and it had already been fortified before the Great War. From here, we handle most of the logistics for our operations in Nevada. Troop allocation, supply distribution, intel. Usually, General Oliver runs the show here, but he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Are things mostly quiet here, uh, between here and the dam? Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. It sounds like they've run into overwhelming resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn hope to look into it, and see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. We need to visit Forlorn Hope at some point. Bye. Okay, so we need to find Davis and not tell him about our notes. Oh, it's already, uh, yeah, okay. I assume you're upstairs? Nope, you're downstairs. Okay, just in case I fuck up. What is it? Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Uh, Colonel Shu, uh, Shu will let me to help you look into the recent intelligence leaks. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. Where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Uh. Later. Uh, well, we don't have any notes for him. Or I guess it means, like, after you've talked to the other two. Or whatever, maybe. Oh, God damn it. I was looking at the screen. <laughs> I was trying to go up the stairs. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It let us back in. Sterling Boy and Contreras. Do not tell them over the leads? Can we get away with killing him now? I don't think we're supposed to be allowed back in here. Don't mind me. You're a piece of shit, anyway. Or you can. With House dead, we'll have Vegas annex before the year's out. We can always return to that point, but. Um... What is it? Okay, nothing to say. You must have been at Bear Springs. What happened there? We won. So, Boyd ain't pissed. I mean, I, I can always reload. 
That's it? You won? Look, we've done some traveling together, but we're not exactly comrades in arms. I'm not ready to swap war stories. You'll be making good on my promise to fight the Legion with you. Is that it? I don't know. Couldn't hurt. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta find uh, people. Well, let's follow this arrow first, I guess. If, Bo if Boyd's pissed, well, Boyd's pissed. Okay, that's pointing that way. This leaves a Contreras, I believe. See anything suspicious lately? You mean other than some stranger with no military ID interrogating me inside our base? Did Boyd put you up to this? I'm so sick of this harassment. You tell her to stop wasting my time with this bullshit. No, I haven't seen anything suspicious. It's been business as usual. Okie dokie. Well, it seems like he's pissed, but... <laughs> That's because of Boyd, so, eh. It's fine. I suppose I should have talked to Boyd first. Oh, well. Okay, that one leads outside. That's to talk to Sterling. So, she downstairs? She's not in there. She's got to be downstairs. Or wait. Nope. There's no no door. Okay. That's for Sterling. Okay, she's over here. Never mind. Nope, she's upset. God damn me. I'm the worst. Haven't you done enough? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break ins, thefts, you name it. Who's missing? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. What else can you tell me about Anders? I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Tell me about the break-ins. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. Hmm. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military-based love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Hmm. Would you be willing to give me the control tower access key so I could check it out? Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. You said there have been thefts? Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. 
We've searched its possessions a dozen times. Nothing. I'll keep an eye out for your missing supplies. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Hey. <laughs> yep. See you. Okay, that just leaves Boyd. Or, uh, not Boyd. Actually, it doesn't even want uh, any of the info now, does it? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have to ask about anything else. We're good. Okay, so. We gotta do this at night. Around 2.50. Gotcha. And so... What do I do then? Do I just, like, sneak? Wait for him to start, like, talking into the mic and then just shoot him? Or... Okay, wait. Is this downstairs? It's downstairs, isn't it? Ah. Right. Okay, save separately now. All right. I was going to save again later, but that's fine. I'm doing the enter and catch him in the act. Okay. Like, don't talk to him or anything, right? Just shoot him or... Well, yeah, okay. I just want to make sure I don't do... I mean, uh, you know, do something totally stupid. Wow, this is very easy. Wait a minute, what? You what? So it's not even locked very well. Another separate save. Well, I'll do a separate save here in a sec. Oh, I'd have to probably wait outside, wouldn't I? from now. Now we'll wait. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. No? Nothing in here. It's past three o'clock now. Right. Should we wait till an earlier time? planes to go so you can see the light in the windows first. Okay. Who is ready to turn the light up when he's in there? Okay. Well, 
I mean, I figured just waiting around the corner, we could see that, you know, him actually walking in there, but. Wait till the next day, try it again. Well, wait till the next morning, I guess. He's not showing up. Hmm. Let's wait an hour. See if anything happens. No? Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, wait. Let's see. 18 hours. And then we'll just do it an hour at a time. Okay, nobody walking around. Okay, wait another hour. Somebody's moving. Well, wait. Wait, that's an NCR trooper up there. Yeah, you're right. I was looking to see, yeah, it, it's got to be guards in the towers anyway. Okay, so wait another hour. <laughs> what? I want to cheat and th see through walls. It'd make my life a lot easier. I mean, I would see like a, a dot, well, not a dot, but a pip, whatever, wiggling about. Nothing moving. Now let's go take a look. Lupa, this is Fruman Terry ah. Mikus. Over. Go ahead, Mikus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend Territory. Right. Victoria at thirteen hundred. Have them mind that stretch. Ten four, Mikus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary? Mission, I guess. Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. 10-4. Keep us updated. 10-4. What are you doing here? You don't have clearance. Uh, okay. I can't let you. Eat this. Let's see, where was the? He's on the camera. Oh, it's just right there. Okay. God, I wish I could move faster. You can choose to go directly to the bar. There's access to a door in the northeast corner, second floor, the main building of the The bomb is located inside the train car right at the air vent next to the.
Wait a minute, what? I'm tr I'm trying to read. Let's see. Which is access to the door? Uh, we're on the second floor of the main terminal building. The bomb is is located inside the tra train car. Wait. Wait. What is going to do you shit man? Okay. Northeast corner, second floor. Bombs okay inside the train car. At the air man. Next to the inside there. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh god, stupid fucking ropes. train car at the air vent. Okay, air vent, air vent, air vent. Air vent? What do you need? What? Bye. You what? Okay, uh, at the air vent. Next to the inside door. Ah. Fuse the charge. There we go. And that thing actually talks? What do you need? Bye. That's weird. Okay, hooray, we saved the day. We super save the day. I should go back and loot that one ass wipe. And I cannot believe that the shells were just going right through his fucking legs. That was ridiculous. Something I look who it is. I haven't had the privilege, but I'm told you've been an angel on our shoulder. What can we do for you at Camp McCarran? You don't be on bronze intelligence lyrics anymore. No. What happened? It, it was Curtis. He's a, in the Legion. I could prove he tried to blow up the monorail. Curtis? He's been in the NCR long before a conflict with the Legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explained a lot. This is much worse than anyone expected. There could be others, too. You've done everything that was asked of you. You have my personal thanks for this. And I'll make sure you receive the credit you deserve. Thanks. Bye. Wait, did it, Doctor Bone? I hope you got that trust point. What is it? Well, I think we got some retroactive point anyway because he went and talked to us before, but we had a, he had a different thing for us this time. And plus, we got a well, we got the trust point earlier because we blew that one. Legionnaire, oh, that one centurion up with our fist. Well, okay, we him blow up this time, but yeah. So I think we got our point. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. So really, we didn't even need to do that, but it's fine. Now that we saved the day and everything. Okay, let's see. Don't mention going the fort. Okay, let's see. I have an eye. Let's see here. Quick look here. Discover Cottonwood Cove. I can't search light about Cottonwood Cove. I can help him play a bug. Bug over to. Let's see. Painting is not very good. Okay, let's see our map here. Uh, 
Oh man, that's like way, way out there. At least we got a point. Now we get the other two. Two things are complete. The reason I gave you the walkthrough straight up is this is just a fucking frustrating way to get Boon's Quest, which is, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's not great. Okay, now the only way this counts. Okay, I have to be careful about this apparently. Um. Where's that boom with He dies plus one. Uh, kill the spine of the egg. Okay, now we Oh, the monorail bomb used to be a plus one also. But, uh, doesn't count after patch whatever. Uh, killing Caesar. The four. Back in your own backyard. Okay, so we need to head that way. We need to find Camp Searchlight. Where is Camp Searchlight? Oh, for fuck's sake. There's... Eh. Well, I guess we're going to Clark Field and then... <coughs> waltzing our happy asses over to... At least somewhere... Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any of my weapons set. Uh, ba 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 ba. Lever action, Marie, whoops. Maria, lever action. Uh, trail carbine, 10 mil. And where's my, oh yeah, my sunset sarsaparilla. There we go. Okay, now we want to go over here-ish. Right. Okay. Let's get a move on. I don't like this here radiation. Blee. Uh. Hello? Whiskey. Oh, there's Edie. Didn't see Edie for a second. Hello, who's out there? Nope, it's up scared. Oh, well, whatever. No, I can't see you jerks either. Oh, it's just big corners. Whatever. I've got the bullets. Ew, it was jiggling all about. Oh, what the f I swear, these hitboxes. There's something out there. Aminals? Oh, that's a vicious dog. Roll a quick scope. So big horns are worth way more XP than these dogs that'll actually like fight me. Ow. 
my favorites. What the hell? Oh, they're throwing things. Yeah. Doesn't like it. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Need a medic. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! Okay, give boy. Uh, for anybody. Oh, brush gun. Nice. Repair shit with that, I guess. That's, that's that guy. No, you're the same one. Damn it. I'll find the others eventually. Let's see. Jesus, a lot of helmets. Or, uh, spears. <laughs> Stupid. Don't buy me. Fuck stick. There's the other one. What's out there? Hello? Eh, something obscured. I don't care enough. I'll have to combine stuff in a bit. I mean, I need to now. I only have like one pound left of space. Of course, I'm going to stick my nose where it doesn't belong up here, but. Nothing trying to shoot me. Hello. Lord Death of Murder Mountain. Not working on it anyway. Don't care. Excuse you. Look at him tumble. Okay, now I gotta combine shit. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> yeah, centurion armor. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What's the second most valuable? Exhiliary, yes. Okay. Um, no, no, no. Okay, now the Vexillarius. There we go. Swords helmets, the Vexillarius helmet. Uh, there we go. Okay, we had a brush gun. Didn't we? Oh, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> Trail carbine, sure. That's the one that... Oh, crap. That's the one that uses the government rounds. It's a lot of damage. Only got seven bullets for it, though. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna fiddle fuck with the rest of those geckos. Fuck them. 
boy, oh boy, am I having a lot of heartburn today. I haven't had this much heartburn in a long time. Jeez. I don't know what I ate. I had a peach. A bit of a homemade milkshake. That was it. Well, not a bit of a peach. I had a whole peach, but, you know. Yeah, he's coming right for us. <laughs> Big army. Eh. Oh, hello. It was pointing over that way. Right. That looked like a man with some NCR armor on. Was it looking in the wrong direction? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Enough. I thought I pointed over here. Guess not. And Edie came from this direction. Was that an NCR ghoul? I shot? Well, not I shot, but... Eat shot. Whatever, you get the idea. Mm. Kind of interesting because I thought that was NCR armor. Dying so easily. It's somewhat disappointing. It's another part of the big horner. Okay, what are we shooting? Okay, it's to the left. Something's fighting something up here? Coyote Mines? Yeah? Yeah, there's red markers all over the place. I was trying to figure out where the sound was coming from. It sounded like it was coming from my left. But... Mm. Hello. think. Going Trooper Ghoul. Yeah. Well, that's fine, man. I mean, what time is it? Hey, it's 11 o'clock. We can, we can call it quits. Um, let's see if I can, well, let's check this building real quick. Anything interesting in here? Take a quick peek around. Sarsaparilla? Uh, yes, please. You can make uh, stim packs with those. Well, auto stims, anyway. Oh, look, it's the same house model they use for, um, well, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's no problem, man. I mean, it's really only like an hour before we normally stop anyway, so it's not a big deal. If I was smart, I'd, I'd just go to bed. But I probably won't. <laughs> BB gun, take the BBs, whatever. Uh, blah, 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 blah. God, I'm kind of hungry. It's killing me. I really shouldn't eat, though. Also, at least it's a, it's a total waste. I got some stuff out of it. 
beds. Oh god, I'm hungry. So I tend not to notice hunger too much, and that's actually like, the funny thing about uh, streaming lately is it's actually helped me lose weight because because I've been exercising because of the um, current problems with my head, neck, whatever's going on. Um, streaming has actually caused me to like not think about eating so much. So that's been good. It, it's just hard to avoid eating too much after you, you know, get done working for the day. If I'm that hungry, I probably should go to bed so I don't get tempted to eat. All right, just a little bit further. Okay, um, you know what? Close. Wait, wait. Okay, let's save so we don't trigger everything. Model of selflessness, huh? Go me. Okay, there's a town over there. Is that Cottonwood Cove or is that uh, Camp Searchlight? Sorry, Trooper. Stardew Valley uh, multiplayer update. Neat. Although I've had the beta of that for a while. Contact. This. Where the NCR outpost being near the road. Yeah. This place seems fun. Contact. Camp searchlight. This is exactly where we want to be. Sorry, fellas. Read into your dog tag. God, shit's heavy. Uh, your knife ain't shit. Read into your dog tag. Do you believe you're near the wrong side to get the thing, though? Oh, well, shit. Okay. Uh, go to the other side. Oh, hey. Hi. Uh, oh? Okay. Guys, stop shooting them. Oh, god damn it. Turn me around. Hey, old friends. Hang on there, traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. The whole town's irradiated to high hell. I just came from the other side. With stealth radiation, why are you still here? I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. We'll call it quits after I get done with this conversation. What happened? Some legionaries snuck into the camp and set off some kind of radiation bomb. I don't know where they got it, but it was damn effective. Killed almost everyone and turned the rest into ghouls. How did you survive? I was out on patrol at the time, so I wasn't in the camp when it happened. There were a few others with me after it happened including some of my superiors. Between radiation poisoning and attacks by the Legion, 
they all died out. How did the Legion get into the camp? I don't know, unfortunately. There may be clues somewhere inside the camp, but I'm not about to run in there to find out. Can I see something else? Sure. Uh, where should I go instead? Head north toward Novak. Look for a big dinosaur. Can't miss it. What's so dangerous about this place? The whole area is irradiated, uh -huh. filled with mutated creatures. What kind of creatures? Mostly ghouls and a handful of rad scorps. I think some geckos moved in not too long ago. They seem to stick mostly to the south end of the camp. Why Novak? Because it's a far safer place to be than here. Uh, goodbye, sir. Um, isn't he supposed to give me a quest about? Um, Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. You're back. What can I? I was stationed. At... Are there any other survivors? None that aren't feral ghouls. Those poor bastards. Can't imagine how they must be suffering. I'd like to put them out of their misery, but I don't have the heart to do it. Can you do me a favor? Uh, what kind of favor? I want you to put down the troopers that changed, turned into ghouls. Um, why do you want to kill them? Those boys aren't themselves anymore. They're in pain. And you don't let good men suffer like that. Those troopers deserve a clean death. All right, I'll do it. Thank you. Could you bring me their dog tags? Some of the troopers should still be wearing them. I'll give you some caps for each one you bring back to me. There's an old rifle in it for you if you can bring me at least ten. Oh, and take these radiation supplies. You'll need them. Thank you. We will all go together. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Oh, wait a minute. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. You have to discover Cottonwood Cove. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that next time. It's fine. It's fine. I get it. No, we'll, we'll do it next time. It's fine. You're, you're tired, and it's a good time to call it quits. So, next so what we're going to do next time is we're going to do a... A lot of Legion killing. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And um, I think we'll make Boone happy. Probably. Anyway. Uh, thank you, YouTube, for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Later.